Hey there! Yeah, see, I can do the coy little glances at the camera as well. I'm really sorry to hear about how you think your exams went. I was gonna record a bit here about how it's okay, everyone has a dip in second year, it's probably not as bad as you think, and you've always got next year as well. And then I realised that I'm pretty sure people said that to me two years ago and it didn't help at all. So I guess the best advice I have for you is regardless of how this year's results turn out, remember what you're feeling now and what you felt when you came out of those exams and use that as your motivation for next year. I'm not going to tell you that it's all fine and rosy and you should stop worrying because you won't. I think a lot of other people are in the same position as well. Um, wait a minute, you're also making memento tokens? Uh, like, are we the same person? I got this one from Pete Stevenson, uh, this time when he beat me to death with a giant 15-15 flying imp. Uh, I mean, what's more important about it is that Pete was the person who first certified me as a judge in 2013. Uh, like, it's a really cool idea, you should definitely try it. When you were talking about what you want to get out of this vlogging project, you made an interesting statement about what you think the medium is for. So I guess I could think of my expectations for this vlog being the same sort of thing as my expectations for the diary and the journal, but that's not really what this medium is for, is it? So going back and seeing how you looked, how you sounded, what you thought, I think this medium is better than any other. But the communication part was spot on. I think that's definitely the most important part of this. Uh, hopefully our vlogs will get a bit more newsworthy as time goes on, but I think it's been useful to have these few weeks now to kind of get adjusted and you know, get into the rhythm of doing a weekly vlog. But after results comes the summer! It's like the end of term, but even more exciting. I mean, we've both got jobs lined up. Hopefully soon we'll have somewhere to live. That would be pretty nice. Uh, living in London is really good fun. There are like tons of things to do, people to see. Uh, I've really enjoyed it when I've done it before, and I don't think this summer's going to be any different. And now for a week in the life of McNutty. First up was the board games weekend. I was walking along the science concourse trying to remember which room it was, and then I saw someone sleeping outside and I was like, yeah, that's the one. I only caught the tail end, but it was enough to play Caverna again. Four hours later, I was reminded that while that game is fun, it is not short. I also finally managed to finish my font. I didn't bother to add it up when I started, but I've drawn space and kerned over a hundred glyphs in the past few weeks. I'm pretty happy with the final result, and it's been an amazing learning experience. It's nice to go behind the scenes of something that everyone takes for granted, and unless someone somewhere has done a really bad job, no one ever notices typography. It's important though, it obviously it impacts how easy a text is to read, but it also shapes the way which we think about what we're reading. It's Thursday the 23rd, and you know what that means? It's time to go vote. Referendum's a bit of an odd one. I mean, I'm pretty sure that we, like, the public, are the worst people to decide on this. I don't think anyone really understands what's going on. We've seen in the news, like, there's also kind of fear-mongering and lies. And hopefully we can tone that down a bit now that, like, the actual day is here. It seems quite convenient for a government that doesn't really want to have to make up its mind either way and um, approach the, the other side to just put it in the hands of the people. It's democratic, right? It's best for everyone. Um, not convinced this is the case here. Uh, like, Canley has the best polling station. It's just a, a giant tin can. Unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to take any video inside the polling station. Um, I think you are, as long as you're not uh, giving away what you voted for, but like, that's fair enough. Anyway, hope you voted too, and see you later. And then we went go-karting. Uh, I mean, we missed one of our sessions because the minibus driver was late, but guess who won? Yeah, you guessed it. And we took a stop on the way back to admire a little bit of sculpture. So goodbye for now, and I'll see you next week. I didn't have a stinger lined up, and then it struck me that in your last video you're quite fond of using so to start a sentence. So, uh, in honour of that, here's a little mashup from your last video. So, 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 what I, so, 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 so what I, so, so I guess I, so I guess, yeah, so, so.